Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Wolf and I'm bringing you some more tech news. So yeah, let's get into it. Not much of an intro today. So first story today is that end-to-end -end encryption is coming to Messenger, specifically with video calls and audio files. Okay. And uh, so Facebook mess what? Facebook? Oh. Privacy and Facebook. That doesn't okay, yeah. Facebook offer has offered end to end encryption for messages since 2016. Is that not? Well, I didn't really, I wasn't aware of that because you know, uh, Facebook wants all your information. So, for Facebook to be the one implementing end to end encryption on their messenger, it's something huge because you know, they're in a scandal every other day now. If you use mes Messenger regularly, this is good news for you guys. On to the next Because I, I really didn't expect this from Facebook. Okay, next. Valve patches exploit that <laughs> lets you add infinite Steam wallet money. So where was this exploit a few days ago before they patched it? Because I would like to do some extra research, you know, just for science. A hacker found a way to get unlimited unlimited steam wallet money i'm telling you i should have heard of this news but heard of this way before they patched it can't believe it's been patched already until next week so anyone remember remember a few months ago where the eu was trying to get all mobile device manufacturers to use the same standard for their charging yeah the eu proposal may force apple to switch from the lightning port to the usb-c port after all let's read and see what they have to say so reports that the new legislative proposal set to be presented by the european commission next month will require mobile product manufacturers to use standard charging port across all devices effectively outlawing the existence of the iphone lightning port move so drastic would all but guarantee apple to do either one of two things finally convert iphone's port to USB-C or go portless altogether so yeah this would be a good thing for you know USB-C all the all the things but not all USB-C implementations are the same they could cause cause problem let's say when apple does or may not when they do implement the USB-C port on their device, they could rewire certain things that only a specific type of cable can be used to charge the device, even though it has a USB-C head. So that's that's another thing. But if uh, such a feature ever comes, you know, I will be reporting on it. Next, NB Miner update restores 70% of mining performance on NVIDIA. LHR GPUs. So yeah guys, NVIDIA LHR GPUs were supposed to be the GPUs that help to reduce the appeal to miners so that actual gamers could get the cards that they wanted to purchase. Now one of those mining softwares out there just updated their algorithm to, you guessed it, unlock 70% more of the GPUs performance, these light hash rate GPUs that in video so dubbed them well th there's more proof that there is always a workaround when there's when you're working with ones and zeros it just takes a certain time to find out how to take advantage of a certain piece of hardware or software this actually affects the entire entire stack of gpus that nvidia had and lhr yeah the entire thing so if you haven't got your hands on a GPU right now, I feel sorry for it. Digital Foundry tears down the Xbox Series X um, S, showing its minimalistic design. So, yeah, there it is. In images, it looks pretty sleek. So this. This right here is the full flat GPU that's in the Xbox Series X and this is the GPU for the Series S. Here's the retention. No, not the retention. This is for the, the memory cooling. This is the Wi-Fi. And this is the PSU. 
So yeah guys, if you wanted to see that, there it is. Next, Gigabyte. So Gigabyte releases a statement on exploding power supply. So these power supplies have been making the rounds lately that they were exploding even when they weren't on full load. Notably, these uh, GPUs uh, made headlines because they were being distributed as a bundle with certain GPUs on the New Age Shuffle. Assuming you already had a, a good GP, um, PSU in your system when you got the GPU, you were going to use this power supply that was coming with your brand new GPU. The thing is, these power supplies might be defective. You might be lucky and get away with a good unit, but most persons aren't so fortunate. So there have been reports of uh, power supplies exploding, catching fire. And uh, Gamers Nexus actually researched this extensively and uh, found, found out that even when the power supplies aren't on full load, they can still have some malfunction happen. It can be very catastrophic as in you just got your new card and you decided to use this power supply with it in turn killing your new card. In certain instances there are uh, safety uh, features built into a graphics card that will protect it against uh, these situations but in most cases it's better off to have a known good PSU connected to your GPU. So yeah guys that's the final story for the day and uh, Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, why not drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I try to keep up on my tech news and post them, post a video whenever I can. So, yeah guys, this has been Wolf. Peace out.